96.3 FM, located in St. Petersburg, Florida, where it is not your average radio station. Black Power 96.3 FM, DJ Eddie. And the station manager, Eddie Mosby Jr., he is not an average station manager. We don't accept walk-in music, but what you can do is actually send it to our email and it's submit music at blackpower96.org. Mr. Eddie Mosby Jr. was born on November 18, 1962 in St. Petersburg, Florida. At the age of 11, he was far stricken with a rare disease called sarcoidosis that eventually claimed his eyesight, leaving him completely blinded by the age of 15. With a passion for success, he began singing with a gospel group named Eddie and the Wonder Boys, which lasted for three years. At the age of 18, he started traveling and singing with his father, who managed the national recording group, the Florida Spiritual Heirs. While out on tour, he joined the Alabama Blind Boys, and he continued singing gospel music for another two and a half years. At the age of 21, Eddie returned to his hometown, St. Petersburg, Florida, and started street performing in the downtown area. Driven by his love for music, for the next 35 years, he would play his guitar and sing for donations to support him and his family. In 2017, he gave up street performing to become a DJ at Black Power 96.3 FM a project of the African People's Education and Defense Fund, where he became known as the one and only DJ Eddie. In 2019, he was promoted to assistant manager, and just a short two years later, this 100% blind individual was promoted to station manager, showing listeners across the world that his disability had no limits on him. Well, I mean, I've been uh, just working hard. It's been an amazing journey to become manager at Black Power 96.3. But I think the reason I became manager is because the passion I had for the radio station, and not only the passion, but I, I did things like outside of the box. You know, I just didn't stay to to just thinking we should run it this way or that way. I was really looking for interventions, you know, inter some, th something different. A minute after the five o'clock hour, now time, you know what time it is. Time for the top five local artists. It is the local artist hour on Black Power, 96.3 FM, WBPU, LP St. Petersburg. We are Black People United. Yeah, I'm most proud of the local going global because, you know, it gets a chance for local artists all over the country, all over the world to get their music played here at Black Power 96.3 FM. Not only is Eddie a DJ and a station manager, but he also go out into the community and advocate for the station. That's what I was really looking for, something different to do. And that's what I came up with the idea of local going global for local artists. Because I know as a local artist myself that no one, I spent thousands of dollars even back in 1985 just to get a, a, a record at that time in my hand, a single, a 45 single. And, and no one would play it after I got it, you know? So I th was thinking to myself, let me give local artists an opportunity to get their music played. That's 888-979-2796. That's how you vote. And when they get to number one, they get put in hot rotation there so they can be heard morning, noon, and night. Uh, Deputy Chair Ona Zene, you know, sent the message out that she really liked my vision and really wanted me to be actually station manager. So I went from just being actually a DJ to system manager to manager. And I think it's just because of my hard work, my passion, and uh, just trying to think outside the box, you know. On and off the air, you can always hear him sing at Black Power 96. We're not just explaining the world, but we're changing it. And he is so passionate about it. And, you know, with any corporation or job or wherever you go, you know, you need to try to take the initiative. And that's what I did, you know, and I think that's 
one of the main reasons they chose me to be a manager because I took the initiative. I would just not let, not even my handicap stop me. I would just go to other corporations and call up other business and said, this is what we're doing over here at Black Power Radio. And, and they would, you know, they would say, oh, wow, good idea. Wow, yes, we can help you. Let's, you have to take the initiative. Never be afraid to put yourself out uh, where that you can be, you know, actually try to reach someone because they have a saying here at the Yuru House: "Teach one, touch one." And you just never know if you you're afraid to knock on someone's door. You just you're just losing yourself. It's never never be afraid to knock on a person's door. And I say it all the time. I tell these recording artists and these young artists that are coming in to to, to think the way I think, and that's like. You don't have to get a million people to give you a million dollars. One man can give it to you. So think big. Listen, if you're a local artist or you know a local artist, uh-huh, all you gotta do is send in your music. Submit music at blackpower96.org. Your music must be clean, ready, or ready. No degrading lyrics. If you get it in like that, we'll get it on like that. Well, Black Power Radio Station is a vital to the community, not only just because it's a radio station, it's also Black-owned. You know, it's a non-profit, and we're under the African People's Education and Defense Fund, one of the best non-profits in the world. But we are powerful in the way that we reach our people. And that's why this station is so important, because we have to reach our people in the way that no other will do it for us. Black power is about right and wrong. And if you're not for right, then you are against us. That's what black power is all about. Having our own economic development, our own education, our own way of providing for ourselves. Nobody has to say what we can and cannot have and what we can and cannot say. Keep it locked on Black Power, 96.3 FM, Midday Cafe with your favorite DJ, DJ Eddie, world's best blind DJ. I don't see nothing, girl, but you know I feel on everything right now. Get ready to feel Aretha Franklin on 96. Uh, we have so many different shows here at Black Power, 96.3 FM. Of course, we have O'Malley Taught Me, Sunday Studies. We have Black Power Talks. We have Reparations in Action, White Lives Shattered. It's so many. My show, I have a couple of shows. Smooth Grooves, The Local Going Global. I have a gospel morning show, and believe me, my gospel show in the morning, I'm passionate about my gospel. I'm passionate about Jesus Christ, you know, dying for, for our sins. And I'm passionate about that. So when you listen to a Good Morning Gospel, no matter where you are in the world, you will hear me say, get out that bed and give God the praise. Good Morning Gospel, Florida Blind Boy. I don't see nothing, but I feel everything. Feeling this good gospel music on Black Power. 96.3 FM. We're not just explaining the world. We're changing it, man. Yes, sir. You got to taste and see how good the Lord is. Mr. Mosby, he starts his days off at 6 a.m., where he spends the average between 10 to 12 hours a day at the station, on the air, and attending meetings. He also has to run the operations of the station, for he is the station manager. He says it's his love for the station and his people that keeps him going and going and going. Although he absolutely loves running the station, it is when he's on the air that he finds his greatest joy, interviewing with the people and playing great music for them, taking their phone requests, answering their call. He is at his peace and his passion when he is DJ Eddie, and the people love him for that. And we raise funds to keep this program going, to keep all of these different institutions going. It's just, I can't say enough about how proud I am about being here, uh, the manager at Black Power 96.3. I can't say, I, I, it's just amazing. I would have never thought myself as, you know, when I became sister manager, let me tell you something. I, even my own self, I doubted myself. And this just to God have a truth. I said, well, Eddie, you're assistant manager now. You're 100% blind. You can't go any further. Something in my back of my head told me that. You can't go any further, you're blind. And a year and a half later, the owners came to me and said, we love your vision. We want you to be the station manager. 
You never know what God will do for you in your life. You never know what God can do for you. Even myself thought I had doubts of my own ability. You look at me now. Amazing. God is amazing. Sometimes a disability can become a setback, and sometimes a disability can become a blessing. Mr. Eddie has taken his disability to the next level and is living his dreams. He is the prime example of never giving up. And it should be a black power radio station in every city in the United States. Then we'll level the playing field because there's a white station in every city. Good morning, Tampa Bay. Good morning, California. Chicago, Illinois. Good morning to you. Atlanta, Georgia. Get out that bed, South Carolina, North Carolina. World's best blind DJ.